I'm Charlotte and this is The Daily where we talk all things skincare, fashion, fitness, and nutrition and braces for women over 40. So today I'm going to go ahead and give you an update of how my braces journey is going. It's been a while. Um, I do want to let you know that, you know, I have been several times since the last video, but I feel like when there's not a lot being done and there's not a whole lot of changes that it's really not worth coming on to tell you about. I've had my braces on since March of this year. That was the top brackets. Um, I got the bottom brackets on about a month later. In case you don't know about all of that, it's all in my journey. So if you want to refer to any of those videos, um, I've even got really great footage for you. So I just wanted to remind you of that. But um, I've had them on for about six months now and very, very used to my braces. I just continue to get the purple bands on them. There's a lot of changes happening. Now, the, the thing that I've noticed is when I get them tightened, I see that there's different spaces that appear. So don't let that scare you. Um, you know, you, you might have a tooth that shifts all the way over and you're like, oh, I didn't know I had this space. Where is this coming from? Um, it's just kind of, they're moving around until the final until it's done. So just know that you're gonna have these weird odd spaces and possibly be uh, possibly be in a situation where you're seeing teeth even overlapping or kind of turning to the side. It's really interesting and you know, my orthodontist assured me that all of that is normal. So when I went in this time, um, what they did do is change my top wire to a 16 by 25 um, and I, they call it a copper netty. And then they went ahead and tied all and on the bottom they tied all new bands and um, reattached those to the brackets and they're engaged so that they're moving the teeth now what they've done um, lately is they're they're taking single teeth and they're wrapping them um, kind of single so so they wrap them in a wire um, each tooth so whatever tooth they're trying to engage they will wrap it in a wire and it's really interesting um, because it's a very thin wire and they wrap it around and it's just helping to engage a specific tooth and so the one that i've had the most trouble with it's not trouble to the orthodontic i keep going in and they keep doing things to this certain tooth to try to get it to engage um, but i'm gonna show you it's this tooth right here if you go back in my journey when I first got my braces, like my very first video, you'll see a little clip where it shows you my bottom teeth. And you're going to see how different they look. So th this tooth is slowly but surely engaging and turning out. And that was really pressed in before. So it's definitely different. Really, my the teeth are being pulled this way as well. The teeth were kind of pushed back. And that's kind of just happened over the years, but those teeth are coming forward. So it's really neat to see. And in through here, this gap will appear every other time I get them tightened. And then the next time I get them tightened, they'll pull it back over. A few times they've done what they call contouring the teeth. Now, it just really essentially means to file the teeth. And so basically I've had some crowding down here and they need to actually file in between the teeth to make room for them to move. So, and they don't call it filing, it's called contouring. So they take um, kind of a little contouring wire and they start to, you know, saw back and forth. Now that is probably, one of the most uncomfortable things for me, it's not, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just kind of the nails on the chalkboard kind of thing. I don't think anybody loves it. He's pretty quick at it, so he just does it a few times and then, you know, it's done. Um, but it has helped the teeth begin to move at the bottom because that was, um, you know, they were just too crowded to even move. I was planning on getting two of my wisdom teeth removed. They were my last two remaining wisdom teeth. I had plans to do that. I went to my consultation. I have not made that a priority for whatever reason. I'm just not into going to get it pulled out. I don't know if I'm being a chicken. I don't know if I just don't think it's as necessary. My smile is still gonna be the same. It doesn't you know, make or break my braces journey. Um, it's just basically when I open my mouth, you'll see more teeth on one side than the other. So 
I can always go and get that done. And I just have been putting it off. My orthodontist did not recommend that I get that done. Um, it was just something that I thought, well, I'm doing everything else, why not just do that? It's more the idea that I'm gonna have to schedule it and have my husband, you know, stay home from work and, you know, take me and bring me because, you know, when they pull teeth out, you know, you're sedated slightly. And I kind of feel like it's just been more of a, you know, it's a, kind of an inconvenience. And I don't wanna go through the pain either, so. I don't think it would be painful, I just think just the thought of it, yeah. Anyway, I'll let you know when I get that done. I got a comment, one of you said that, you know, you're getting ready to get braces and you love my videos, they're really helping you, and thank you so much. So if these things are helping you, if these videos are helping you, I am so glad, you know, don't hesitate to get braces over 40. Um, it's not that bad, it's really not. She told me that she was getting ready to get Light Force. When I was getting my braces, Light Force was also an option. Now, what Light Force is, is it's kind of a new technology. They're braces, they're brackets, and basically you can tighten and figure out what you needed to do via computer. Orthodontists kind of encourage that, and I think it's because, well, I, I point blank asked my orthodontist would it make it easier if I got Light Force, and he said yes. But the reason why I didn't get Light Force is because Light Force is extremely white. Each bracket is extremely white. Now what happens when something's extremely white, same with like getting white bands versus like a purple band. You're gonna notice the background, okay? The background is going to be, if something's white sitting on your tooth, your tooth is gonna look very dull and yellow. That's just what's gonna happen. And that is exactly why I didn't get Light Force. So I just wanna throw that out there and I think it's just some food for thought because you know it definitely sounds like an idea and kind of a cool technology and things like that. But honestly, do you want your teeth to look yellow for, I don't know, however long you're gonna have these braces on for? Just think that through before you decide on Light Force. And, um, and I also want to let you know that typically clear braces like I have, the brackets are a little bit bigger. So I don't know that I told you that before, but it has not bothered me one bit. Um, I don't know the difference. I don't know how a smaller bracket would feel. So anyway, I didn't really feel like this time was a great time to get footage because it wasn't really anything different. But they're gonna be removing some of my brackets and replacing them on the tooth. So depending on how they want the tooth to turn, they have to actually take the bracket off and reattach it. And I'll probably come in with some footage with that. So I think that'll be helpful. But um, I will try to keep you updated. Thank you guys so much for inquiring, for asking me what's going on with your braces. That makes me feel like it really, it really is helping you and you guys are following my journey. If you have any questions at all, um, I would encourage you to comment below. I will answer to the best of my ability. And um, you know, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys for coming by. You know I have other things on my channel besides braces. So if you're into fashion, fitness, skincare, or nutrition, stay tuned, subscribe, and um, I hope you guys are having a marvelous day. Happy Thanksgiving and God bless you.